Lee, the venue sound engineer, walked towards me. He was dressed entirely in black, tight jeans, safety boots, torn t-shirt. He was 46. He had worked for a prime minister, recording everything said in public, attempting to capture the sound, make it solid, render it in binary code, make it secure, give it a home. Live sound is a mysterious thing. It ambushes you, won't let you alone, disputes with you, refuses to be captured, and then is gone before you can ascertain its true meaning and nail it down. It would be good to have selective hearing, only registering that which is helpful, positive, filtering out all that is counterproductive, our ears deaf to the unwanted echo, the dark reverberation. No more being woken in the night by a sound that has already ceased, our heart beating fast in case we have missed something significant, a warning, a memory, a cry from the past, an omen of the future, a clue to where safety may lie. Vitruvius, in book five of his ten books on architecture, describes the voice as a flowing breath of air. It moves in an endless number of circular rounds, like the increasing circular waves which appear when a stone is thrown into smooth water and which keep on spreading from the centre until interrupted by limits, which prevent them from reaching their end in due formation. We are surrounded by distorted and damaged <coughs> echoes, awash in crippled resonances that prevent us distinguishing either the present or the future, that obscure the path. That night, Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys was performing in our venue, a legend. Lee had long, lank, strawberry blonde hair that only partially concealed a bald spot. The whiteness of his skin was accentuated by the fact that he rarely went out in the sunlight. The theatre technician's natural habitat is the dark. They always sat at the back of the class, listening to their own tune. Is it all right in there? I asked. Yeah, it's fine. You're doing monitors, aren't you? He nodded. Sound check at six. That's what the man wants. So everything's cool? Lee nodded. Brian doesn't do the sound check, he said. So? So nothing. He's had lots of bits replaced. Who? Brian. Like? Liver? Lungs? Maybe heart? You sure? It's what I've heard. Where did you hear that? Everybody knows. It's common knowledge. There's hardly anything of him left. He hears a lot of things. After all, he's a sound engineer. One of the measures of the behaviour of sound <clears throat> in a room is reverberation time. Traditionally, that's the time it takes for the report of a pistol shot to decay into perfect silence in that particular place. I wonder how long it will take me to decay into perfect silence. And in which particular place. I once worked in a church that had a reverberation time of 11 seconds. Echoes of echoes of echoes. Responses to stones dropped into stillness. The sound of the Big Bang still reverberates through the universe. The Beach Boys released Good Vibrations in 1967. I wonder if I am, in fact, composed entirely of echoes. Whether they will ever be fixed, find their home. Brian Wilson arrived. <clears throat> he was brought into the canteen. I'd been told that he liked to eat with a band, didn't like to be on his own. He didn't look the way I had imagined he would. But when I interrogated myself, I realised that all I had was a vague image of blonde hair and suntanned pectoral muscles. 
He was 64. He looked old. It is reputed that Greek tragic masks had a reverberant quality that increased the intelligibility of the speech, allowed it to travel further, extended its decay time. What are we so desperate to hear? What are we so terrified of missing? Brian stood looking around with an expression of benign confusion. It appeared that he was not aware of where he was, but that he didn't seem to find that frightening. In fact, he seemed to find it comforting that it was where he was most at home. His minders sat him at a table and tied a large napkin around his neck. He smiled. I noticed that he was never left alone. I imagined that they were frightened, that he might fade away and never return. 